Next step, laser beans. Freaking laser beans. Don't you know I exist? What the fuck? Just taking this motherfucker around the neighborhood real quick before I get it on the fucking street. Cause you know, I really don't believe that it's not gonna quit on me. I wish I knew how to quit you. Why don't you? I really don't. At this point, I fucking don't believe it. The fuck you doing there? Digging up this whole program. We'll stop and throw her at neutral right here. See what she's doing. Seems to be okay. I don't wanna take her fucking where I want to go. Just gonna have to ride my normal goddamn circle. See if she quits on me. Got my phone in my pocket. You, you didn't bring a gun? I got that too. I think a gun and your phone and your wallet is about all you need, don't you think? Just my rifle, holy and me. Come on, bike. Tell me I'm back in business. Oh! <laughs> Seems to be holding the temperature too before it was getting kind of hot. So here's what Albert did, my favorite mechanic. I ordered a goddamn pet cop off of Amazon for this motherfucker. The OEM pet cop for this son of a bitch was $100. I think I want my money back. So I found this aftermarket motherfucker. Well, I said I got game cash, oh. man. Damn, I can't afford it. With all these reviews on it. There's all the same pet cock and a whole bunch of different accounts on eBay and Amazon. So naturally, I picked the cheapest one that was going to be delivered in the least amount of time. And it showed up fucking quick. Even without Prime, it was at my house in like two days. So my buddy Albert comes over. We get the tank off. I go get the fucking pet cock. And dude, the OEM neck on the pet cock was about two inches, two and a half inches maybe. Well, this aftermarket motherfucker was like, an inch. The neck was an inch long, if that. So it didn't even clear the fucking lip of the tank. I was pissed the fuck off, man. Whoa, shit. Fucking stop blowing me. You'll never hear me say that again. So Albert says, fuck it. Take that back, and we're going to try something here. And I was scared as hell, but I knew in the long run, what's it really going to cost me? And I'll just buy the $100 pet cock and get rid of this motherfucker, you know? So Albert takes his fucking pocket knife out. Bring me the big knife! Carves out the fucking vacuum. <laughs> See how she does here? Yeah, so Albert takes his fucking pocket knife out, carves out the vacuum of the pet cock, um, takes the main vacuum gasket out, which holds, you know, the spring and the house and the hood in there, takes the two end gaskets, mashes them together as one gasket, and puts all the fucking bits back in the goddamn petcock and torques the fucking thing together. Plug the vacuum with the bolt, and it looks like it did its job. Yes. I believe so. She's holding right around 20 or 21, and no drop. I am still kind of getting hot at idle, though. Hmm. But hey, it's going. So remember, get going while the going's good. There are kids that live here, for God's sake. You know, children, family. I know All what that. fucking kids are, Lucy. You're a whole lot better father than you'll ever fucking be.